Okay, so I was having a chat recently with my friend, his family is based in Spain and it was interesting to learn that in Spain, Christmas is celebrated in January. I've also come to learn that Christmas is celebrated in January in some other countries, I believe in Ethiopia and um, Egypt. Uh, that, you know, gave me this idea to share what Christmas is like, where I'm from and I believe it would be interesting for other people to just learn what Christmas is like, where other people are from. This might interest people. So if you're interested, if you want to know what Christmas is like in Nigeria, do keep on watching. Oh, my name is Sophie, if you're seeing me for the first time, and I'm going to be letting you know what Christmas is like in Nigeria. If you don't know, I'm Nigerian. So yeah, I'm going to be letting you know what Christmas is like, where I'm from. Once Christmas is around the corner, ending of november beginning of december there's already a lot of joy there's a lot of happiness in the air in the atmosphere people are excited people that live outside nigeria family members based abroad are preparing to come back home and so there's a lot of just excitement in the air also schools go on break in december offices sometimes close down for the year so people are really just preparing to spend quality time with their family they're looking to build memories that will be lasting fun happy memories over the holiday period christmas is a period of giving in nigeria there's a lot of giving there's a lot of sharing going on before christmas people buy food items hampers and share with their friends share with their families share with loved ones they also share with their domestic staff share with people that work with them their colleagues and there's a lot of sharing and giving also for people that work with the government or certain companies at the end of the year they receive bags of rice they receive chicken yes live chicken they receive granules oil you know so government agencies people that work with the government civil servants often receive these things and even people that work in certain companies as well receive bags of rice and you can tell that there's just a lot of giving in the air People also donate to charities, they also give to the needy and it's not like they don't do these things at other seasons but around Christmas there's a lot of giving to the needy, there's a lot of charity involved. Then when it comes to Christmas, you have to get your Christmas clothes ready, <laughs> you have to get your Christmas hair ready, you have to get your Christmas shoes ready, especially for kids. Um, so growing up that was one of the things that I really looked forward to like from september you'd have been telling your parents hey mommy daddy my christmas clothes this is what i want you know they'll be asking you what you want for christmas and you're really looking forward to what you're going to get people also make their christmas hair so that's the period where you see people go to the salon to get their braids they get box braids twists all sorts of beautiful different hairstyles in preparation for christmas now with all the shopping going on the markets are usually packed very very packed so packed that there's barely space to walk and you have to be very careful so as not to lose a family member that you're with you literally find people pull themselves like hands to hands just so they don't get lost or lose each other in the markets that's how packed the markets can be in the food market as well there's a lot of shopping there's a lot of activities going on the prices of food tends to go up slightly in december so some people like to shop early on in november for their christmas um, food items in preparation for what they were used to celebrate Christmas with their family and then when you step out as well apart from all the giving apart from all the sharing the excitement in the air it's just really beautiful at least in Lagos state where I'm from and I lived you know the government would light up the city and it's usually so beautiful it's amazing there's this place in Victoria Island in Lagos around a co-hotel that entire street is usually just very very amazing like it's breathtaking when you go there lights are so beautiful and yeah <laughs> Christmas is just wonderful also there are a lot of Christmas events going on around Christmas there are chopped carol services there are Christmas parties office Christmas parties there are school Christmas parties to close the year where students often perform 
and they sing for their parents and parents come to attend their teachers are there and they have like drama performances they sing carol songs they sing lovely christian songs those things are really fun to watch you'd like to see your child perform and i remember as a child I really really enjoyed being part of the drama team for Christmas drama where you tend to play like Mary and Joseph and you have some people play the three wise men and yeah it's just always so beautiful and amazing also around Christmas some people tend to travel back home to their villages Lagos is a very metropolitan city a lot of people live in Lagos for work a lot of people are from other parts of Nigeria so some of them tend to go home for the holidays they tend to go back home to their villages to their states to spend time with their family back home now another christmas event that is very popular mainly for kids is they have like i don't know what they call them they're not amusement parks but they're like christmas parties and sometimes you get tickets you know parents take their kids there they get to see father christmas <laughs> as they call it um yeah they get to see santa claus they get to see father christmas and sometimes those father christmases they don't look the way father christmas looks in other parts of the world sometimes they are skinny sometimes they don't have like big belly <laughs> sometimes some of them are really not in the mood but yeah parents take their kids there and they see father christmas and father christmas usually gives gifts to the children which of course i mean it's part of the ticket um, parents would have paid for those things for their kids yeah there are also christmas parties and you see all these events where on tv they're showing these christmas parties and kids are asked to do shout outs to their parents and some of them would actually go okay i have to go back to how i used to feel as a child and there'll be like a microphone and then somebody a tv presenter will ask the child um how who do you want to give a shout out to or who do you want to wish a merry christmas and the kid would go like my name is adana igwe and i am five years old i want to wish my mommy my daddy my auntie my sister my two brothers and my teacher auntie kemi and auntie linda a merry christmas and a happy new year <laughs> those things used to be so funny and yeah as a child i really enjoyed them i don't think i was ever on tv but yeah or maybe i just didn't catch myself on tv but it was always such a joy to give like christmas wishes to your family members and to be asked who you want to wish a merry christmas and you know yeah those things were really really wonderful for me as a child and it's just really bringing back like fun memories i'm feeling quite emotional now but yeah that's what christmas is like in nigeria for children i believe that still goes on now um yeah <laughs> now let's come to christmas day remember that people have gotten their christmas clothes they've gotten their christmas shoes and they've gotten their hair made for christmas some people also have more than one christmas clothes for christmas day sometimes they do what we call anko and co is when like a family they all wear the same fabric so i'm currently wearing this um fabric which is a nigerian african fabric sometimes they wear ankara which is also a traditional fabric in nigeria and basically every member of the same family would wear the same fabric you have like the mom the dad the kids or whoever you know or even if you don't have kids the family even extended nuclear and extended family sometimes they wear the same fabric and that's what we call anko so sometimes you have people wearing like their native on christmas day especially when they're going to church there's usually a church service for christians on christmas day people go to church they wear their christmas best you know depending on if they're wearing native and doing anko or if they have like other regular clothes that they're wearing but they go to church beautifully adorned from head to toe you know they look so beautiful and everybody's in church and in church there's a christmas uh, sermon there are dramas and uh, in church as well they sing christmas songs carols and it's just always so beautiful and people will give offering in church there's thanksgiving and at the end of that people go back home to spend christmas with their families there's a whole spread talk about jollof rice fried rice pounded yam semovita all the different soups puff puff you know finger food samosa spring rolls 
everything everything nothing is off limits everything is on the table and people cook and share food with their family they also cook and share with their neighbors now these neighbors as well are also cooking so basically there's a food exchange going on this neighbor has cooked this food in their house and that neighbor has cooked that food in their house and people would take baskets of food to their neighbors knock on their doors share food with them and, and most times kids are the ones that run these errands now as a child if they tell you to go and share food with your neighbor that's something that you want to do you know why because when you go to deliver the food to your neighbor chances are you're gonna get some money <laughs> money yeah so when kids go to deliver foods neighbors often give them money and kids are always so excited even though like as i've come to learn as an adult that money is not really for you your parents are going to say they want to help you to keep it and that's the last you ever see that money <laughs> you won't see it again you know but it's just always nice to receive money and you're so happy and then most times people give new notes what is called a gun sometimes and you know those new notes mint notes they smell so new they smell like money just imagine like clean money um fresh naira notes and it's just always so nice to receive them as a child on christmas day you don't want to go to the mall you don't want to because it will be packed yeah i learned the hard way like for four christmases we used to plan like christmas family outings and a few times we went to the mall and it was just disastrous like everybody is just out there trying to see a movie trying to shop trying to it's usually packed but if you enjoy the crowd if you enjoy just seeing everybody out in the mall then by all means go to the mall but um on christmas day in nigeria the malls are usually very packed also on christmas day in nigeria at least lagos where i live and where i'm from lagos usually has like insane intense traffic and that's something that it's known for widely known for people that don't like to live in lagos complain about the traffic but on christmas day the roads are so free the roads are very very free like you can literally drive somewhere i know that you get there within the time you're supposed to get there um also because i think people would have traveled back to the east traveled back to their villages and left lagos so there's really less traffic on the road and if you want to go out on christmas day it's just a beautiful day for you to go out also in lagos sometimes the public transport is free um i don't know if that's still the case but when i was still in nigeria public transport used to be free on christmas day and when i say public transport i don't mean like the privately owned yellow buses i mean like brt in lagos the government bus system is usually free on christmas day now around christmas um sometimes people do secret santa where you pick somebody's name like in a ballot and you're supposed to buy them a gift and somebody else would pick you and you really don't know who you're going to get and sometimes secret santas go well things go well everybody's happy with the gifts they receive but other times <laughs> some secret santas are shady you find that some people will buy like very cheap gifts or gifts that are not really like precious or they didn't really give much thought to raise whereas on the other hand you can have like a secret santa that went all out but you know an amazing expensive gift or something very thoughtful so sometimes there's that mismatch and some people might not like to play secret santa but yeah secret santa is also a huge part of christmas especially in offices and in schools now just other aspects about christmas generally there's something called banga um knockouts i think they are called crackers in other parts of the world where kids play with them and then they have like um what they call them now i don't know what they are called sparkle lights sparkling lights where they play with them and then they just sparkle and you hold them and they're long and yeah so kids usually tend to play with that some parents don't like kids playing with the knockouts the one i said and um, people call knockouts or bangers and i think they're called crackers in other parts of the world because um yeah they can be dangerous but as a child i used to enjoy playing with them i had no fears i had no worries and i enjoy playing with the sparkling lights the sparkles and i remember like my mom would buy packs packs of those sparkling lights and she'll keep them in her wardrobe and hide them 
and we'll be asking her oh mom when are we going to start playing with them when can we play with our sparkling lights and then she'll be like oh tomorrow 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 on christmas day you know and we'll be looking for them like okay <laughs> trying to find them and yeah she'll just keep them and then one day she'll bring them out and then she okay talk about take your own this one take your own and you'd know how many that you have she'll share them equally and we'll just play with them we had a song that we used to sing um it's a yoruba song we used to say ino long konjoyo ino long konjoyo oh my god i miss hope or oh, i miss my childhood no i don't miss my childhood i enjoy being an adult sometimes but yeah it was just it brings back really happy memories of my childhood and yeah, yeah most likely the childhood of other nigerians um they were born around the same time as i was born and even most likely the childhood of some kids now they're experiencing it but they don't know how beautiful and amazing it's going to make them feel when they think back to the moments that they are living now um so yeah we used to have knockout bangers and you know long sparkling lights <laughs> So in recent times, Christmas has changed a bit. Like I said earlier, people used to wear Ankara and Kos, but these days they are wearing like matching Christmas jumpers and they are taking family pictures. And I think that's something that has propped up in recent times in terms of how people celebrate Christmas in Nigeria as a family. Also, you have people take pictures in these Christmas jumpers or in like regular clothes. They take like, people that are newly married or families, you know, and then some of them wear Christmas jumpers, some of them just wear like regular clothes. And they take pictures and they'll be like, Merry Christmas from me and mine, you know, Merry Christmas from the Wazobias, Merry Christmas from the Adeyemis, you know, and people would take pictures and do like a frame and share on social media. And that's something that has been happening in recent years. Mostly like young people, like once they get married, you know, once December is around, they want to take pictures with their family and share. It's something that people have been doing and yeah, I was part of them last year. I did that for the first time, like Merry Christmas from me and mine. <laughs> and then some people that are single will be like, ah, wahala, wahala means trouble. They'll be like, ah, wahala for who doesn't have me and mine, no. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like all jokes, all bands and yeah. Um, also around Christmas, there are a lot of events for young people, for adults, you know, just for people to have fun might not all the family oriented um, events and activities so there are a lot of concerts a lot of concerts going on i mean covid has changed things in recent years but there are a lot of concerts like all the artists and musicians usually have the really big ones aim to have their concerts in december like you have olik olamide live in concert you have like Whiskey, you have like Davido, you have like Runtown. I remember I attended one Runtown concert in, I think it was in December. And these concerts are usually like packed, like people are usually there. And you know, they hold them at very, very large venues and they're so interesting. There's also a lot of clubbing, a lot of partying, you know. And you have people, like I mentioned earlier in the video, that people that live outside Nigeria, Nigerians living abroad, often return home and sometimes they're referred to as IJGB, which means I just got back. And yeah, you can tell like when people just go back home, they're like, oh yeah, I just got back. You know, you can tell from how they speak that they don't really live in Nigeria. So IJGBs and other people, other Nigerians, you know, usually party and <laughs> there's a lot of partying had, a lot of dancing, a lot of clubbing you know celebrating yeah, that happens as well and it's often fun interesting and yeah just fun <laughs> okay so i think i've covered everything about what christmas is like in nigeria it's generally a happy season it's generally a very joyous season where people are excited people are happy people are very cheerful givers there's a lot of giving there's a lot of sharing and yeah christmas in nigeria is beautiful it's wonderful if you're ever thinking about spending christmas in nigeria good day you'd enjoy it it's amazing so um that brings me to the end of the video i would like to know what is christmas like 
where you live what is christmas like where you are from and what's your fondest christmas memory if you're in nigerian and if you can relate to any of the things that i've shared in this video please make sure to leave a comment down below you know let's just relieve those memories let's you know think about how christmas is in nigeria and just rejoice and reminisce over them um yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it entertaining i hope you learned something new if you're not nigerian i hope that even if you're nigerian just really enjoyed watching the video and it brought back fun happy memories for you um yeah that's it from me this week i'll see you again in my next video until then stay blessed Stay safe and bye.